five continents, 26 countries, 58,000 kilometers, and all that in a natural gas-driven Cadillac. Hello, I'm Rainer Sietloff and I'm leading the expedition. I'm Florian and I'm in charge of the exhaust system. I'm France and I'm photographing the whole trip. I'm Falk and I film everything during the project, except this bit right now. Before the circumnavigation, the caddy is fitted with extra fuel tanks. This gives it a range of up to 2,500 kilometers. The standard issue petrol tank is sealed to guarantee a clean natural gas journey. After departing from Germany, the first stage ends in Greece via Italy. The hardest part? Finding enough natural gas refueling points. That, in fact, is actually the purpose of the exercise. Reinhard Zietloff wants to prove that natural gas is available as an everyday fuel, even away from the beaten track. The team is underway from October to April, through Turkey and then Egypt and Syria. A stage is even planned through Iran. Onwards then, through Pakistan and India. The team have to contend with the scarcity of refueling points and the erratic quality of the gas all the way. It ranges from 80% to 93% methane content. The more methane, the more energy the fuel provides and therefore the greater the range. A particularly adventurous stretch awaits the pioneers in India. The country, or better said, the roads held uncomfortable surprises for yeah, them. I right here in Goa and I expected to do a small loop on this street and uh, I pulled over on the parking area for buses and I was a little bit, uh, you know, like a small ramp and uh, I tried to go over it but actually it's just, uh, yeah, screwed in and so, uh, you know, we have to pull it up. Good show here in Goa. <laughs> After this hiccup, the adventurers head for Bangalore. In an orphanage, Reiner Zietloff and his team have a task to perform. For every kilometer driven, they contribute hard cash. They hand over 5,000 euros to the children. Malaysia, dream holiday destination and the next stage of the EcoFuel World Tour. The journey through Thailand leads through the jungle and makes the going slow. It all becomes worth it, however, when Bangkok is reached and a fueling point is quickly found. We are here at a CNG station in Bangkok. And in Bangkok, lots of CNG stations are around for taxis. And we get lots of um, publicity around here because CNG is improving very much also. There are absolutely no problems refueling in Thailand, and the trip through the country provides the crew with amazing sights. Even the famous Bridge on the River Kwai is on the route. Australia is the biggest challenge, long stretches through the outback and few opportunities to obtain fuel. Now in Australia we are here with a private constructed CMG station and this is uh, the only one on the whole west coast where we can fill up our car and we are lucky to find it here in Perth because it's a long way to Adelaide, 2,700 kilometers where our next station is and uh, yeah we fill it up now, it takes about 8 hours to fill it up but then we have a good pressure and a good quality. They need that much for the crossing of the fifth continent, straight roads and the no man's land of the outback under a scorching sun. The stretch to Sydney isn't any easier. Here in Sydney, in front of the Harbour Bridge, we have the most farthest point from our starting point, about 22,000 kilometers airway away and now every meter is going back to Europe. First of all, Chile is reached by air. South America looks promising. LPG is well established here.
at the highest point of our tour, 3,900 meters in the Anden between uh, uh, Chile and Argentina. We are here with the Caddy Echo Fuel and it's freezing cold. It's probably minus five. We just have our summer clothes on and <laughs> it's okay. I like this place here. <laughs> through even warmer climbs, the expedition heads through Mexico to the United States. New York is also on the route. From here, the team reach home after six months on the road. Back in Leipzig, the adventurers get to celebrate their success properly. They've proved that LPG is indeed a widely available alternative fuel for everyday use.